Back on the surface after a month living underwater, Fabian Cousteau says he's already missing life beneath the waves. I wish I could say I was happy to be here. <laughs> Arriving back on dry land, Cousteau and his team of scientists have been gathering data on a nearby coral reef. Cousteau says the information they've collected on marine life and ocean pollution, including contamination left over from the BP oil spill, is enough to fill 10 scientific papers. The luxury of living on the final frontier, which is our oceans, is that it gives us the luxury of time. And that's something that's very, very rare. Uh, it's an invaluable tool to do science for lengthy periods of time. The scientists on board the Aquarius lab during the 31-day mission claim they've gathered the equivalent of two years of data in just one month. We've got a really good look at what a day in the life of a sponge is like. And since all the water in a coral reef is estimated to go through the body of a sponge every 24 to 48 hours, that's a, a really important data set. By spending 31 days underwater, Fabian Cousteau beats his grandfather Jacques Cousteau's record of 30 days beneath the Red Sea in the 1960s on the underwater colony Conshelf 2. Mission 31 is really based on Conshelf 2 as, as uh, a symbolic platform. Regardless of who it is, there should be missions of this length or greater in the future. Fabian Cousteau and his team are now being monitored by doctors after their time living under pressure without sunlight, but such checks are unlikely to keep this explorer away from his family business for long. <laughs>